Ladies and gentlemen, I just, I'm going to combine the two videos because I was just finishing the video trying to show the person about how to get the little eyes free icon in the middle of their video or any other type of uh, symbol and have it faded in like it is here. And that's basically ZDSoft. You click on here, you go down to image and you get to decide how much you want it to fade or not fade, integrate or transition into the video. All right, sorry about that. Now we're gonna continue. But he talked about freemen. He says, establishing themselves as freemen, talking about individuals in the state have rescinded all of their contracts with the United States federal government, the state of Arizona, and each of its political subdivisions. Now see, this caused a big problem. This was in the 80s. I told you, that's where I started learning about this stuff. But because I was in the projects and away from the white cities, Arizona, sorry, Arizona's predominantly white. Well, it's not anymore, but at that time it was, okay? Arizona is a very racist state. And it has nothing to do with no stupid Martin Luther King holiday. It is just the way the stupid state is set up, okay? It's just, it's just that simple. There, there's no getting around it. There, there's no coloring it over. California? California is a racist state as well. See, California wants you to be seen and not heard. So the moment you start speaking up, California wants to threaten you. So I'm going to give them a lobotomy. Okay. And I'm going to scream so loud that they will hear me on the other side of the universe. Because I'm tired. People, I cannot begin to tell you how tired I am. So let's continue. Each of the political subdivisions establishing themselves, see, by getting rid of those contracts, you establish yourself as a free man. Hold on. They didn't say that. He said establishing themselves as free men under the organic national constitution of the Republic of the United States of America. Now, these are his words, not theirs. Consequently, they may be driving without auto registration, driver's license, or any other evidence of contract. That's right, it's a contract. That's why when they ask you for a driver's license, they say, well, your license is suspended. Excuse me, I don't have a contract with you. Ladies and gentlemen, you got a suspended license? Go ahead and rescind that contract. Just because it's suspended doesn't mean it ain't rescinded. If it's, if it's expired, it still exists. Rescind the contract. I have sitting in front of me because I was just going over this. That's in the person sent me this PDF. She actually sent me two copies of it. One of them is very ele not legible. This one you can read. But hold on, ladies and gentlemen, so that you get this. The resignation of registered agent. All of you should be carrying that in your automobile. They ask you for registration and driver's license say oh no i don't have a driver's license here you go and give them your notice of resignation of registered agent for that state now mine is for washington dc because that's how i do my resignation of registered agent no i'm not i'm not a member of the district apologize to you bro now Again, you guys can't argue with them. I've been seeing people have argument with these police officers. Do you not know that you're testifying against yourself? You let them know, I don't want to participate in your investigation. You don't have to be mean about it. I'm sorry. Was there an emergency? Well, I need to see your license and registration. Well, then what you need to do, and I, I, I don't mean any disrespect to you, because I appreciate the job that many of you are out there doing, helping to keep the streets and highways safe from anyone who may be a danger. But my question is, what capacity are you operating in today? Are you operating, pulling behind me, coming to my door as a peace officer, or are you coming here as a corporate agent? And please understand, if you are not a peace officer in the peace officer capacity, if you lie about this, then you will be held guilty. You have no immunity from that because I don't work, nor am I employed, nor am I contracted with the state or the federal government. 
Do you see? This is my resignation of registered agent form. Oh, by the way, here's the affidavit that's been on the public record for greater than a year. So again, I just need to know if you are a peace officer. Now, if you're not going to answer the question, and I know you're going to have a difficult time, because if you are not a peace officer, that means you are you work for the agency that's a private corporation. Now, I, I don't want to argue with you about this. I don't care about what you've heard on the internet. I don't care what you've gotten during your training. This ain't got nothing to do with that. I'm not talking about that junk. I'm talking about actual facts. If you're not a peace officer, then I don't wish to participate in your investigation. I don't wish to participate in your arena. I do not wish to submit to your arena. You pulled behind me. Please understand my stopping was out of courtesy, but it was not out of submitting to a jurisdiction. I just need you to understand that. And ladies and gentlemen, if they persist, then give them the identification. You should not be carrying a driver's license. You should be carrying a state ID. But that's a contract too. No, that's why you put, like I do, on my state ID, I write void next to my signature. Mm-hmm. Show enough, Shogun. Just go back, renew it, and just write void next to your signature. Or you can even make void your signature if you choose. Guess what? They can't tell you you can't do that. Because the first thing you do is tell them, like I told one um, warden, you can't sign your name like that. It must be legible. Excuse me? Legible? How in the world are you going to tell me how to sign my name? Fool, I ain't no slave. I'm not writing no X. Sorry. He didn't understand the thing about a signature. A signature is your sign. It's your natural sign. Everybody has a sign. Everybody has a way to identify themselves in writing. It's called a signature. Signature. See? Nature. Natural sign. Well, guess what? He went back and checked and saw that I could sign my name however I won't. Um, the court also informed others because the clerks of the court would tell me how to sign my name. And I ended up bringing the same thing to the court's attention. And they ended up having to explain to the clerks that I get to sign my name however I won't. All right, so you get to do the same thing. Accept the ticket, people. If he's going to give you a ticket, accept the ticket. If he's saying you're driving without a license, driving without registration, ladies and gentlemen, what I do, if you pull behind me, we're not going to pull to the side of the highway. We're going to go to the next exit. I'm pulling off the highway. We're going to go to the next shopping parking lot. Why? Because you're not going to tow my car because it's on a public highway. Oh, and by the way, if I leave my car here, I don't need you to watch it. Oh, no, you will lock my car. You will seal this car. And I will have a family member come pick it up. Or I'll pick it up tomorrow when you release me. But one way or another, I'll have somebody else come pick it up. Because when they tow your car, they do what's called an inventory. That's an investigation. They call it an inventory. Because, you know, people said that things were stolen out of their car when the police towed it. Okay? So it's called an inventory. Get them to undo that inventory by saying, no, I will call a family member or a friend to come pick my car up. Thank you very much. Just make sure my windows are rolled up. You do not have the right to search my car. The only thing you have the right to do is roll the windows up. You cannot look at anything else other than rolling the windows up. Again, not involuntary servitude. I am not submitting to your jurisdiction. I am letting you know that I am not submitting to your jurisdiction. I know, I know you don't understand what that means. I'll have a judge explain it to you. Okay? But please understand, at this moment, you're violating my rights. Now, if I put a lien on your property, a lien on you, don't get upset. Don't get mad. I'm only protecting a security interest against you, going after your bond. You don't get it. Some of you guys are not going to get this conversation either. This is the type of conversation I have with them. If you're going to be speaking with them because you don't have enough knowledge to handle the conversation, please understand. Let me explain that to you after I read this. The senator says, I urge you to inform yourself and your personnel about this matter 
as soon as possible. Look at that. The senator says that he urged them to recognize the fact that these individuals had a right to rescind all those contracts. It's called age of majority, people. That's what SATCOM is trying to do. Let's continue. If you would like to be briefed by someone knowledgeable on this subject, please contact me. <coughs> anyway, in the meantime, inasmuch as this procedure is entirely appropriate when properly carried out, you see, you have to do it the right way, and that's what we're doing, okay? It's just that at SATCOM, we're not going to use you guys as guinea pigs. We are perfecting the process. We have somebody who is ahead of us, and all we're doing is following the leader. <laughs> they don't like that. But anyway, hold on. I would like to be personally notified of every such instance of confrontation. Why? In order that the person involved, hold on, got to get this to go lower, and the public officials involved may be apprised of the correct procedure and the appropriateness of their actions on the part of each concern. You see, this senator was willing and I would have gotten in touch with him then because he said he was going to tell you exactly how to do it. We would, have, we would have been doing that a long time ago and we wouldn't be doing videos like this now. He says, my office phone is 255-5261 and I am requesting to be notified. This was 1985. Don't dial that number now. I am requesting to be notified of the names and incidents along with the addresses and phone numbers of participants of any such confrontations arising from the exercise of a person's freeman status. Did you see? He didn't say sovereign citizen. He said free man. As free! I keep telling you guys, Ray Charles Solomon Burke, okay? None of us are free if one of us is chained. In order to evaluate the outcome of properly rescinded contracts, Properly rescinded contracts. State Senator. Now, why is this important? This was done. Hold on. There it is. December 10th, 1985. How is this important to us today? Because this was a state senator. He is a legal expert. He's not a lawyer. He is a law expert. You see, lawyers practice law. Senators make law. Do you understand the difference now? And he wasn't talking about for the state of Arizona. Did you see him bring up one Arizona code? He was talking about federally and state. United States federal government and the state of Arizona and the political subdivisions. Do you understand? This is universal for the United States. This is the language he's telling you should have been using. I just did a video yesterday talking about Mr. Menard. You guys know about Menard, the freeman on the land. Robert Menard was saying and doing that himself, but they put a lot of pressure on that young man because he had stumbled on to something. Then I showed you the Constitution did not apply to blacks or whites. It applied to free people, free persons. I know right now some of you guys, those wills are turning and you're starting to think and you're starting, before you do all of that, go back over this document. He gave you all the clues. Listen to the words he's using. See, when you first read this, you will think that he's saying, rescind all of their contracts with the United States federal government, blah, 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 establishing themselves. You would think that this is what he's saying these individuals are saying. No, he said that these individuals are establishing themselves as free men under the organic national constitution of the Republic for the United States of America. Ladies and gentlemen, I would strongly suggest that this is a phrase that we start using, the organic national constitution for the Republic of the United States of America. Okay. Then he says, consequently, as a result of them doing this, they may be driving without auto registration, driver's licenses, or any other evidence of contract. Look, the Supreme Court has said that if you're driving and if you're traveling, as long as you're sitting behind the wheel of an automobile or a carriage, you are considered a driver. 
okay? So if you get pulled over and the officer asks you for a driver's license, I'm sorry, I am not engaged in commerce. I don't have any passengers for hire. So why do you bring me the presumption that I need to have a license? Oh, no, 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 no. The Supreme Court hasn't said that I need a license. They said if I'm engaged in commerce, then if I'm transporting someone for hire, then I must have a license to operate as a driver. But I'm not operating a vehicle. You are operating a vehicle because you're getting paid to do what you're doing. I'm not getting paid to be in my vehicle. I'm, this is personal business. I'm a private citizen. See, in order for me to have a passenger for hire, I'd be a public citizen. I don't wish to be a public citizen. I'm, I'm private, sir. You still need to see license and registration. Well, here, this is uh, an identification. And ladies and gentlemen, you can use a world passport. Don't let nobody tell you you can't. Again, the Supreme Court says that the only thing an ID needs to have is a picture, a date of birth, an address, a signature, an expiration date, and a number. Just that's it. It's own identifier. <clears throat> they need to put you in their system. You see, when you give them a driver's license, the first thing they do is they run a wants and warrants check. Why? Because they're investigating. Because you handed them a license, you're now saying that you were operating a motor vehicle. Now you come under regulation. So I would go over this document. Ladies and gentlemen, I've showed you the whole document. If you can't find the document, don't, don't contact me. Okay? Don't contact me. He's a U.S. Senator. This document is... Oh, you can find it right there. That's where you're going to find it. Just type in Senator Wayne Stump, because he'd be stumping y'all, like stump the yard letter. Okay? Just go there and download the document, people. And now, when they pull you over and ask you for a license, I would, literally, I would hand them this first. And they're going to ask you, why are you handing this to me? Because I don't want to argue with you. What do you mean you don't want to argue with me? Well, because you're going to give a presumption that I'm driving. And I'm going to tell you, no, I'm not driving. I don't have a contract with you. Here is my notice of resignation of registered agent. Okay, now my, my notice of resignation of registered agent is dated 2001. Okay, and that's so that they know. You don't want to get me on no 90-day statute of limitations. Well, you got to wait. This is just done last week. You got to wait 90 days before this gets into a fair. You ain't going to get me on no stupidity like that. But anyway, I've notified the proper authorities that I am not a United States citizen as defined in statute or by the 14th Amendment, Section 1. I am a free person, and I've been using the phrase, ladies and gentlemen, free-born American citizen, because I was born free. I was not born in the United States and or naturalized in the United States. I was born in America. Born in the USA! Okay? And so I carry with me my alienable and inalienable rights because it's mine. Mine! Mine, 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 mine! Okay? All right. I got a lot of work to do. I got to go take a break for about an hour and then get back up here and finish my work. I just wanted to share this with you. Ladies and gentlemen, the reason why this works is because it was a United States Senator. This is a matter of the congressional record. Why is this a matter of the congressional record? Because everything this Senator did, and he did under his title, he did it under the authority of his title, was published. Okay? And because it was published, it becomes fact. Because it was sealed by a notary, notary seal, okay, it becomes fact. It has not been rebutted. It becomes fact. And it doesn't matter if he was Arizona and you live in Teratoma, okay? It doesn't matter. Why? 
because he was a senator. He was talking about the law as it is. Now, I remember this has been going on for a while, but what happens is that these officers, and we'll talk for about another minute, these officers go through training and they tell, that's why they say, oh yeah, I'm familiar with the sovereign citizens movement. Excuse me, I'm not nobody's stupid sovereign citizen. Why would you even assume something like that? Why would you sit up here and call me a terrorist? No, 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 you and your prejudice, no, 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 uh -uh. give me a supervisor. I ain't got time for this. You don't sit up here and call me a terrorist. What evidence do you have? No, don't do that. <laughs> well, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, they go through training, and in their training, they're told what people believe. So you show them this and say, this is not what some stupid sovereign citizen believes. This is what the law says. You see, this is a senator. He's not a lawyer giving some legal advice. He's a senator. He's an expert on the law. And he explains exactly what the law is. Notice the very last sentence. Automobile registration, driver's licenses, or contracts, people. It's evidence of a contract. That's why when you do your notice of resignation of registered agent, you do a simple letter to the DMV letting them know that, no, you revoke any and all consent to be in subjection or be in submission, to be in servitude under any circumstances. And then you fill out the rest. Keep it one page. Look, this senator wrote a letter, okay? It was one page, people. It shouldn't be eight pages, nine pages, 10 pages. You, it shouldn't even be five paragraphs. It's just a simple letter saying, hey, look at this. All of this, adhesions and these, um, what do they call them? Uh, Adhesion contracts and the other one, quasi-contracts. Remember, use that phrase, quasi-contracts. Disaffirm, and remember, when you attain, you have to let them know that you've attained the age of majority, and you are exercising your right and disaffirming any and all contracts made during infancy. You have to do certain things, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so we have the two videos. I'm going to try to splice them together and get them up. I hope that everything goes well with all of you. I hope your day goes well. Have a good day. Have a good life. Have a good night. And may everything you do go well. Goodbye, all.